death match at Home Depot. All right, welcome back party people. Another van update today. It's a little bit windy today, a little bit chillier, but uh, I think today's task is we're gonna put some poly iso down on the floor of the van, glue that down, and then start cutting some templates. <clears throat> Maybe even perhaps put plywood floor down. I'm not sure exactly how thick, how thick I wanna do it yet, so. But before we do that, first I want to tape around those wheel, those plastic wheel wells um, to seal the gap between the sound deadening and the uh, wheel wells. And then I've got to wipe down this floor and I'm probably going to put some sound deadening in these parts here that don't have the, uh, this rib in them uh, because uh, you can, there's a big difference between the sound here and the sound there so probably some vibration coming there so I'll put some sound dead in there there's a couple other spots uh, like over there in the corner where there is no rib at and uh, then we'll start laying out some poly iso and see how well it goes you can see that I pulled the uh, cable in for the solar uh, through the roof uh, last night and uh, I actually cleaned up the cable in this morning Let's see if we can get a view of it from over here Yep, so if you can see on top there, let me just try to zoom in. Here we are with the uh, solar wiring all tidied up from the outside. Got it pulled through the conduit, got it hanging in the inside, waiting on the batteries and all the other electrical components. I left service loops in there in case uh, I didn't cut any length off the, uh, the Renogy uh, supplied uh, panels, just in case I had to send a panel back and I uh, created a service loop for each one there. And even made the trip to Home Depot and nothing blew off, so I'm feeling pretty confident there. Just hope they all work, otherwise I'm gonna have to uh, slice one of those panels off the roof. All right, let's get to uh, cleaning up this floor so we can put some fat mat down in a couple of places and then we can uh, start cutting our template for the poly iso and glue it down. Here we go. taped around the bottom of both wheel wells so uh, now I think we're ready to start marking our template to put down the poly iso let's get to it all right so I've laid out the poly iso I have three four by eight sheets of poly iso and I'm just marking the one on the bottom I just laid the other two out to see if I had enough and see what the configuration should be and I think with the uh, putting them crosswise across the floor like that Will be a better deal because otherwise you have to worry about a piece of poly iso one of the edges falling on one of the divots in between these uh reinforcement uh ribs in the bottom and you don't want that because obviously it will probably break off so i'm going to try to put the seams crosswise like that i think and the other thing i need to do is obviously you can see this black piece here was the uh, step aside for the side door I removed that and now I'm gonna remove the rear one it will just make it easier to uh, actually work on and basically there's a couple of plugs in the top that you have to remove and then uh, screws in each under each one of these plugs and in the case of the side uh, panel, the side step that had uh, some pop pins in it too so let's remove this real quick and I'll put you on uh, Time lapse. All right, got that removed and uh, vacuumed up. Let's turn our attention over to marking our poly iso. Okay, so that is 
my final layout and so I'm just going to trace the other two uh, poly iso boards and uh, make the razor cuts let's do it all right so I got it just laid out fits pretty good and uh, a couple of paces of strips I will need to uh, put in, but uh, all in all, I'll say it turned out pretty darn well. All right, <clears throat> let's glue it down. some weight in there I'm gonna leave it there overnight and uh, come back tomorrow and figure out what I'm gonna do with the floor I guess I'm gonna do half inch uh, plywood and then bond it down to the uh, poly iso so that means I've got to recut I need to go get two more sheets of plywood tomorrow as well cool deal all right making progress and uh, now I've got to clean up and uh, probably put the edge guards back on just so I won't uh, mess up anything so uh, that'll do it for the poly iso tomorrow once the uh, tackiness is set in I'll go and uh, foil tape all around uh, the poly iso before we put down the plywood all right so I finished cutting out the uh, poly iso insulation then I uh, sealed the seams with aluminum tape under and then uh, some uh, stickier uh, kind of gorilla duct tape on the top and I finished laying out all three pieces of the flooring plywood this is uh, birch plywood it's a lot better quality of plywood than you would normally use on the floor but I chose to go thinner to reduce the amount of space that I take up from being the height of the van inside so I'm only using half inch plywood so I want my screws to be able to uh, to latch on to something there so those are the two pieces and then the other piece is uh, just sitting in the, the van at this moment I'm gonna glue the other two pieces down to the poly iso put some weight on it I'm probably gonna leave the front piece a little uh, loose for now because I may have to get to a a chassis ground in between those two seats and I might have to pull that mat up a little bit but I tell you I really like this mat um, that Ford included with the transit because it has exceptional sound deadening qualities this uh, this stuff on the inside here on the bottom side that goes on the floor um, it muffles the sound a lot and so I like to use it and then the other side is just some rubber kind of mat which is really resistant to uh, to anything all right, all three sheets laid out, looking pretty darn good. So now, like I said, I'm probably gonna, I don't think I'm gonna glue this sheet down yet, but I really need to, uh, to bond these two down. I'm gonna clean these back two, back two sections and try to bond the plywood down. Probably do one sheet at a time, since I only have enough weight to kind of disperse over one sheet, maybe two. We'll see. Let's get to it. All right, let's continue bonding this uh, second panel. Okay, we'll let that uh, sit up for a bit. So we've got two, two sheets in now. And I'm going to go back and once I feel like this is all bonded, I'll go back and trim everything and we'll put edging around after I've got some sheet vinyl ordered that I'll stick on with tape. And then once we get the sheet vinyl ordered, I'll uh, put the edging on or once it comes in, I'll put the edging on and then we'll reattach all of our uh, bicycle attachment points and uh, I'll fill in all these gaps with some... Uh, some great stuff uh, expanding insulation and I'll come back and carve it off before I lay everything down to make sure it's, it's uh, nice and smooth and flat. <laughs> 